everyone. Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and today I am going to be talking about my favorite items and tools that I use for coloring. Since it's getting closer to Christmas, I know somebody asked if I could do this video because she's making her Christmas wish list. So these are some of my favorite items. So I'm going to probably start with like the coloring tools, like the specific coloring tools, like pencils, markers, etc. And I'll go from there. So I'm going to start with the off with color pencils. Really the only color pencils that I use, yes, are the Prismacolors. Also, a pencil case. That's a perfect thing to put on your Christmas wish list if you don't have one already. Or, I mean, you could use um, number 15 or 30 <laughs> of your pencil cases. But I don't think they have this specific design anymore. This I got this years ago for Christmas. So, But I do have my... Prismacolor pencils in here. I did get the largest set. I can't remember how many that is. I also need to put back a color pencil that I was using, but I think it's like the 120 set or 180, something like that. Man, I got this years ago. I don't even remember, but uh, I do really enjoy them. I do like them. I would also like to, to experience with like, I really would like to experience with Derwent pencils, but these are the ones that I enjoy and like using. And I actually got an amazing deal on this, and I don't think Michaels does this anymore. None of this is sponsored, but um, one time I used a 50% off coupon at Michaels when they had those, <laughs> um, and I think I got military discount. Don't quote me, but I think I got both. I don't know if they do both anymore. I'm pretty sure they don't. So I got an amazing deal on Prismacolors. So that's always my... Uh, my tip for you, wait for a coupon from Michael's, wait for a coupon from Joann's, wherever they sell Prismacolors, wait and go ahead and purchase them when you have a coupon because it'll be a lot cheaper. You know, it, sometimes, very rarely, Michael's will have a 50% off, but wait and use that 50% off if you can, if, if you're still able to use them on Prismacolors. But I do really like them. I actually have a picture over here to share with you all. I thought I'd share at least a couple coloring pictures that I've used these products. So I've used Prismacolors in her outfit here. So I really like the colors. They are really nice colors. That's the only part I did use Prismacolors was on her outfit, on both outfits. And I'm going to share with you next my favorite blending tool. So far, it's my favorite one. I haven't found one that I'm like a huge fan of, but this is my favorite so far. So the one that I use is actually in here. And... I think it's this one, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. So I have used the Prismacolor one. I do not like it. I think there are certain Prismacolor blenders that work and some don't. I think I got the one that doesn't. But this is one that I use that I really like. It's called Thorn Thorntons. Wow, that's hard to pronounce. But it's, oh, come on, focus on the pencil. There we go. Uh, Thorntons Colorless Blender. And I got to see if they still sell these or not because I've never looked it up. So hopefully they do because so far this is the best blender pencil that I've found. So, so far that is the color pencils, oops, that I use. I also, um, this is a watercolor pencil grid, <laughs> but I ended up printing them out and using them for my Prisma colors, which works out nicely and I can just slide them right in there. All right, so those are the color pencils that I use. All right, let's see. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for a pencil sharpener because I know tons of people, they complain about their Prismacolors breaking in pencil sharpeners or whatever. I have found the best pencil sharpener you will ever find. It's not mechanical. It is, um, you have to do it yourself or whatever it's called. But this one is amazing. It's also aesthetically pleasing too. But this is the best pencil sharpener I have ever owned in my entire life. I pre-sharpened probably 80, 80 to 90% of my Prismacolors when I first got them. This one, I think I may have broken one lead, maybe. That's how good this is. I have, I really, I've never broken a lead in this and I love it so much. So it's super easy to use. I can actually show you guys. So this is what it looks like on the outside. I love it. It's a little camera, but it works amazing. On the bottom, we have a little, oh good, it's cleaned up, <laughs> um, a little, case to, for all the shavings to go in and then the top part this part opens up that's that's the box and then on the top it opens up for your pencil 
and you open it and you just let it go. So it stays open, which is nice. I'm gonna grab a pencil that needs sharpening. So I can show you all, this one needs sharpening. Let's do one of these. Actually, you have quite a few need, need sharpening, but we'll use my peach color. So you hit this button right here, you hold it in and you push your pencil in and then you let go. So your pencil actually stays in there. You don't have to hold on to the pencil while you're working. You just hold on to the box and you crank. And that's all you need. I'm not gonna do any extra because it does sharpen very quickly. So see, this has some pencil shavings, but I could even get it sharper than that, like to a fine point. I just didn't wanna do it that, that sharp. But yeah, pretty much this was down a lot. I didn't show you how far down, but usually three to five cranks maybe, and your, your pencil is sharpened. I love it so much. You should see the one my dad uses or used to use. Oh, that was, um, yeah, that was, that was a pain. But this one is amazing. I love it. So it is the Camera Pencil Sharpener by Kickerland. And I know Amazon still sells these. So I will link it down below for you all. All right, what should we go for next? I guess we'll go for stuff I use for, oh no, we do have one, uh, a few other things that I use for coloring specifically. So I do really like these. I just got these recently. From Amazon and they are called maybe Dain Ayu. They're premium gel pens. Uh, they came with a set of gold, silver, and white. Uh, not a huge fan of the white, but I do really like the gold and the silver. So I did do this page last night and you can see the, the shine in her earrings is all the silver. Um, the wings over here are all the silver. So, I mean, it's not super metallic but it's 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 a nice touch to your page if you want that metallic so and i believe they're also a pretty good price so i do like these these are the ones that i've been using lately so far um they haven't really been scratchy or anything they run really smoothly which is really nice because sometimes that's hard to find so so far i really like these and then let's see i also use for a lot of coloring uh if if it's a like those images that are double-sided I like to use these as long as it's not thin paper. If it's thicker paper, my fa one of my favorite coloring tools is Tombow brush pens. I love them so much. They are water-based ink. I'm just grabbing a couple from my bag over there. I have a ton of these, but I use these constantly for everything. They're like one of my favorite tools I've ever used. So Tombow brush pens, I love these. They color beautifully. Um, they will streak because they are water-based depending on the paper and whatever you're using it on it. But for like a base layer or just, just coloring in general, I really like Tombow brush pens. Again, use a coupon because these are available in craft stores. So, but I love these so much. I always wait for a 60% off coupon from the craft store at Joann's. So, but I love these. Let me see if I can find a page that I've worked with these. I actually found one right away. So this is all besides the darker, the really darker colors and the backgrounds. Everything else, the creature and stuff, was all done in Tumbo brush pens. So you can, if you look really closely, you can see some streaking and stuff, but it's a nice beginner's tool. I really like them. They're great for, for base coloring if you just want to put a base and then use color pencils over it. Um, it's even good for layering because these colors, the blue and the green, is the exact same color. So I just darkened it by adding a second or third layer to create the shading which I love so I did that one so tumble brush pens are definitely at the top of my list for one of my favorite things to use I use them all the time and I'm working on one right now in Kirby Rosane's coloring book and it does not bleed through I've even used um, a little bit of a darker color and it has not bled through on the other side yes he does have really good paper too but uh, at least it doesn't bleed through which is nice all right, uh, let's see. What else am I using? Oh yeah, let's talk about alcohol markers. So yeah, I am new to alcohol markers, but I have found a set that I got from Amazon and I love it. And when I got it, I think it was like $29 around there and they are amazing. So this is the um, I think it's called Touch Set, and it's a set of 120, which is a lot. And 
Uh, tip if you're new to alcohol markers, I did some research before I bought these. Make sure to always store your markers lying down instead of like this because your ink in your alcohol markers, since they're usually, um, usually have a bullet tip and a chisel tip or a brush tip, you want to lay them down flat so that way the ink is, um, is evenly distributed. That's the word. I was trying to think of that. So I got this set. I, I love it. I've already used it multiple times. But yeah, you get a... Uh, I'm going to put it this way just so you can see the markers. But you get a wide array of... Um, my ring light's in the way. Sorry about that. But you get a wide array of colors. I love this set so much already. I have used it constantly. And you get a quite a good amount of skin tone colors, which I really like. I do appreciate that. Uh, the only thing I really don't like, I actually honestly don't like the colorless blender, but maybe it's just um, user mistake and not the colorless blender because I'm still learning <laughs> with alcohol markers. So as I said, this is a good beginner set because as I said, it's a great price, like fantastic price, especially for a beginner set. Like it's a really, really, really good price and you should get it. So I'm going to find a coloring page that I've used this. Most of the ones that I've done before, that those are all water-based markers. Um, just trying to find one that I've used. Ah, she used my first one, this one, which you'll see at the end of the month. But you know what? I just thought I'd share it with you all. So this is all alcohol markers, except for the silver um, in her outfit. That, that was gel pen. But this is all alcohol markers. I even did the background in alcohol markers with the Galaxy. So... For a beginner, using it for the very first time, this is the very first time I've used alcohol markers. I love them. I think they're great. There is a little bit of streakiness, but that's due to my error. Trying to figure out how to use it, trying to figure out um, how to use it. I You do have to work pretty quickly with alcohol markers because that's when you do get the streaking. But I think for beginners, it, it works really nicely, and I really like how it turned out, especially the skin tone. Even though technically it's a blue skin tone, it's not skin tone color. But I did really like that. So, yeah. So, for beginner set, it's an amazing price. I really like it. So, that is alcohol markers that I really like so far. And then the last thing, as far as markers, etc., go. Got a lot of stuff over here. <laughs> uh, is Posca pens. I love Posca pens. They're one of my favorites. These are, if you don't know what they are, they're just acrylic paint markers. And I'd like to get a set of the fine point or the fine tip. These are medium, I believe. So they're quite thick. Uh, but they're great for backgrounds. I do have to clean that tip. But uh, but yeah, so these are great for backgrounds. Just layering down acrylic paint. Acrylic paint, again, it does not bleed through. Unless, I'm sure, it's, unless it's very, very, very thin paper. But acrylic paint does not bleed through. So I love to use these for backgrounds, for details and stuff. I don't think I have a picture. Oh, no, I... I just showed you the one, the um, the half, half angel, half dragon. This one, um, the backgrounds were done with the Posca pens, and also the um, the pumpkin. So yeah, so that is that background was done all with Posca pens. Um, this paper though, I don't know, cardstock really wasn't doing that well for me recently. Maybe I just need uh, new tips in my Posca pens, but but I really, I really like these. I use them constantly for all art projects. Love them. Again, use a coupon at the store at Joann's or Michael's or whatever, and you can get them for a better price. Ooh, there's paint on that one. <laughs> but yeah, so I really love these. I have, I think, the the regular bright colored set, and then I also have the pastel colored set in here. So really love it. I really enjoy those. All right, so now I'm going to talk a few more things. So again, for backgrounds, just plain acrylic paint works great. It's one of my favorite tools especially for um, for those nitpicky little areas, acrylic paint is probably better than the Posca pens because I don't have the fine tip. If I had the fine tip, then Posca pens would be my go-to. But since I don't, I just use a very, very small paintbrush and acrylic paint. And black and white are my go-to. Uh, for white, white for details, not necessarily for backgrounds, but the black definitely, I use it for backgrounds all the time. These are just from Americana, but pretty much any any acrylic paint. Well, not any, honestly. I've had a few that aren't that great. It's probably because they're really old. <laughs> but at least those are newer. Okay, and then I also really like to use uh, Distress Oxide and Distress Ink. 
I'm finding out I think I like Distress Oxide better. And kind of funny because I have a ton of Distress Ink. Uh, and like very hardly any Distress Oxide. I think I have three colors. Probably because I'm newer to Distress Oxide. But the colors that I used last night for the background, the pink laid it down beautifully. The purple not so much. So I'm wondering, I'm going to check two different, um, the same color, but, but you know, one oxide, one distress ink to see which one I like better. So I might like these, but they're more expensive. Um, and you only get like, you know, if you go to the craft store, you're only going to get one versus in a craft store, you can get four of these, uh, in one thing. Uh, you can get more of a set on Amazon. You can get like maybe six of distress oxide, but again, they're more expensive. Yes, they are a bigger palette, but when I was starting out journaling and stuff, I like to have multiple colors, even though they were smaller. But maybe, maybe I've changed my mind. And using coupons, I could just go back to the craft store once a week and get, get a new oxide. So yeah, so the one I showed you earlier is done with uh, oxide and ink background. So this one, the pink is the oxide, the purple is the Distress Ink. So I really like the way the Distress Oxide went down. It could have just been because it was a lighter color, but for some reason, my Distress Ink was not laying down. It could be because it's drying out and I just haven't re replenished it because normally my Distress Ink will lay down pretty nicely, but I'm also new to using that as a background, but I do like the way it looks. It kind of gives it that kind of that cloudy, smoky look, which I actually do really like, especially for this picture. It kind of brings the rest of the picture into the foreground instead of the background. But yeah, so I did really like that. Um, again, actually the alcohol markers I used for the hair and the skin um, on both characters and, the, and his clothing. Oh, and the leaves and the flowers. So <laughs> um, pretty much almost the entire picture was the alcohol markers that I showed you. But I did a little bit of shading with the alcohol markers. really like that. But yeah, so I do like the Distress Ink and Oxide. But they do, these are, I wouldn't say they're super beginner friendly because it does take practice with the inks. Um, but they are fun to use and it's always fun to try something new. Okay, and then I have just a few more tools that I can show you. So this is one of my favorite things. I use this for journaling a lot. But I've also used it on coloring pages. This is clear gesso. I do have a few tips really quick about this. I do really like this. Make sure it's clear. Make sure it doesn't say white gesso. It has to be clear. This is Dino Wakely, which is the one I use all the time. But if you spread this on a coloring page, you can use any medium that you want on it. But there's a drawback to that. Um, it does dry out markers fairly quickly. So if you want to use alcohol markers, if you want to use water-based markers on top of this, um, just make sure they're a, they're a cheaper brand because they will dry out your markers quicker. I have found that out. So I basically, if I use this, I use cheaper markers that I have. I have a couple sets of cheap markers that I use if I plan on using this, but it does protect the back of your page. Just use two or three layers, let it dry in between each layer and you're good to go. Okay, and then I have two tools here that I like to use for coloring. Uh, just a couple extra bonuses, but I like the dotting tools. They have a usually a thicker dot on one side and a thinner dot on the other. Normally you can find these like um, in nail art places because they are used for nail art a lot, but I like to use it for details like stars, um, maybe polka dots on outfits, especially if the outfits are smaller. These are great for detailing. Um, so I really like these. I think they're a lot of fun. And then the last one is I use this type of brush to put on Distress Ink and Oxide because the ones that they come with, they're, they're good, but I think I work better with the larger kind of makeup sponges, I guess. Um, they're not makeup. You can actually just look up, um, like craft, um, craft, craft brushes or whatever. Um, I will link them down below uh, a similar set so you can find it. But so those are all of the items that I use and love in coloring. I um, hope you find something that you'd be interested in putting on your Christmas list or trying out sometime. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video.